Not by Palace SMI. Today we're going to do a story. This new story is Anzar Shota X Mayo Rear. So I hope you guys enjoy. This is part one of the series. Anzar, so here goes, here's squad. Anzawa. Have you ever thought about the world in the future? How so? Every time I look outside, I see this green wonderland. Every time I actually look through past that, through my eyes, I see a world where grass is never greener, never green, and trees are gone, and everything else has been missing throughout Japan and in the world. How do you always see that through that? I don't know. I always see through that. Maybe someday we'll fix that. Maybe someday we won't. And I will. People have been doing this for so long. Throwing trash inside the cans and bottles. And maybe at times you will walk around and see things change. But it has been changing. People throw their stuff away. Garbage left on the ground, people leaving stuff on highways and riversides. Maybe someday this whole world will change. We all will be dead by June. Don't worry about it, Tony. I, I worry about it every single time I see a person walk by. Every car I pass by, I see their death rain on written down as something caused by an accident. Every car I see, I see them causing an accident in one day or, or it's second day, or even third day, or even month, and one day their life is gone aligned. Why? How many times have we been seeing this? More than once. Every time I see this, I can't think of every person's life on the line. Every child, every man, woman, elderly, I see everything that I wish to never see. I wish that people change for the better, and Zywa. I do too, but we all have changed in many ways. I just wish Erie had a better future. I do too, Tony, I promise you. I'll take care of everything, and clear your safety in mind. But you understand, as I will. Everything I see, it changes. The grass is green to grass, stream to paley brown. No chemicals going through the air. Without the trees, we will be nothing. How many times have I been going through this? Every time I sleep, I recall everything. Every time I dream, I recall a future like this. Every time I sleep, I have dreams of every poem's life flashing before me. Wonder why I always wake you up to tell you to leave before I start shaking at night time. I know, but I'm always here for you. I know. That's what worries me. You worry so much. The more that the Pope has been stupid and ends up getting himself killed. I'm worried about everything that turns dark and gets anyone else angered on everything. I worry about everything that might happen and people will start another war. It's already happening in Russia and Ukraine. But who cares who understands that? Are they hurt? The innocent, the innocent people getting killed and hurt because of that. Land's getting destroyed and it hurts me. I'm an imp, you know that. And I feel that pain every single day of the life. Do you understand that as I will? Yes, I do, and I'm sorry you have to feel that every single day. I just wish that someday the world would change for the better. But it never happens. Most people are getting treated, mistreated. Their homes or homes, so the shelters are getting taken away from them. 
I heard from Sasha too that their homeless daughter is getting taken away from them and I felt the need to try and answer their prayer. That shelter was more than anything for them. I know. It's more stuff for them. They always told us how the homeless shelter had more aspects than any people to go lay on. Yeah. Without that shelter, no one, people are going to die off, as we know it. Oh, from overdoses, more than enough people are going to die from overdoses on the streets. But with the homeless shelter and called Lighthouse, they will live a better life. But without the funds, how would they get what they need? I know. I just wish that somehow people would figure out that life needs something in boundaries. That life needs some help, some safety, some need to help people. The homeless needs help. The refugees need help. But you can't help both of them at the same time. You try, but half of them dies. You're bringing up the diseases from Ukraine into America, Canada. Try to check them out before you bring them in because COVID is happening. Maybe Ukraine still has COVID going on. You're not going to be in number seven now. I know. Toy. You told me every single day how Ukraine people need to be checked. Every single day before they come to get watched for the monkey virus and the COVID, uh, COVID vaccines database. But people don't think to check before they do. With the monkey virus and the COVID coming in, Canada is at risk for this. There's no heroes like us to protect them. Yes, I know. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, well, I'm blabbering. It's a good thing you have to blabber. I kind of like it when you're overprotected. I'm always overprotected in Zawa. I'm protected my country back home. I'm protected my people that I left behind because I'm with my hero teams I have. I'm overprotected of the people in the government, trying to do everything in the mind put people in safety, but tends to not to understand that safety means protecting Canadian people as well, not just Ukrainian. There are viruses coming in from the south and east. When you look at the news, you saw an African man come, and a woman and child. That was what the Ukrainians. Is that something that we know it's coming for? It was